All right, so we're working on a 2015 um, Ram 1500. Almost said Ford F-150, but it's gonna be a bad day. Uh, air suspension problems, I'm gonna show you the top five things that I check uh, when your air suspension isn't working or the truck's sitting real low. First thing I always check is this 40 amp fuse up here in the fuse block. Um, if it's blown, a green one? Yeah. Um, you've probably got a compressor that's either locked up or frozen. That's, uh, that's what I found. Um, so I would check that first and replace it. Uh, with a plug in, the compressor should start. And you'll hear it running. It sits in the back here. Um, there's a shield sort of in the way. It's in there. in there so anyhow um, you should hear that run if that if that fuse is blown and you change it that compressor should fire up uh, the second place or second thing that I would check as far as leaks is this manifold um, block that's in here there's two valves that's where the air suspension system is gonna be filled from and I found that if you take these caps off where that aluminum fitting is in behind where it screws into that plastic, that aluminum will corrode, as far as I've seen, and there'll be a significant leak in there. Uh, this one's been replaced not too long ago, but um, there's a leak somewhere else as well. Uh, the next spot that I would check would be on the front shocks. You can see this bag has a leak, but these, these front shocks, I have one here. This, this isn't out of this truck, but it's out of another one. Um, there's a brass fitting that goes into the aluminum housing of the uh, shock or the bag and the aluminum will corrode in around there and start to leak. This one's okay. It, um, it was a, a good one that we just had sitting us aside. And you check for leaks with soapy water? Yeah, so if you're checking for leaks you need the, the system to be filled um, with nitrogen or like I say, if you put a fuse in and let the compressor run, I haven't tried it myself, but over time it should fill the system back up. Um, and then yeah, use some soapy water, spray it around. You'd wanna check the top of that fitting. And like I say, spray in around that manifold um, or valve assembly, they call it a manifold. Sometimes those are real bad. Um, I'll just show you in the engine bay where the top of those shocks are. You can see the valve there. And then there's another one over here. And they like to leak, so. Um, the next spot I would check after checking those, if you still haven't found a leak yet, is the rear bags. Now there is a plastic accordion style cover that goes over these bags. Um, and these, these will just pop off, but they are a real pain to get back on. Um, I found I uh, usually end up having to take them off to the bench in order to get them to snap back over. Underneath there, there's a rubber bag. Um, I don't know if somebody else has a better way to do it, but uh, I found, yeah, take these off, spray it down with soapy water. Like I say, the system's gotta be pressurized and look for bubbles, but I've seen these rear bags go bad quite often. Um, Anything else? A lot of times, yeah, there's one other spot I've seen a few times is the air tanks that are underneath. There'll be fittings. Yeah, it might be a little difficult to see. There'll be fittings that go to those air tanks. Um, sometimes, once again, air tanks are made out of aluminum. They corrode and then um, they'll leak around those fittings. You end up having to replace the tanks. Um, the, the one thing that I found is in the winter time, so basically how it all starts is you get a leak and the compressor tries to run and fill it up. And as it's doing that, it gets hot. And then when, it, when the compressor stops, it cools down and draws moisture into the system through where it was leaking. Condensation builds up in the air suspension system in the compressor. And as it builds up moisture in there, collects in the water, you get a bunch of water in the compressor, it freezes in the winter time. And then of course, now that it's frozen and the air starts to leak out of the system, tries to turn on, 
blows the 40 amp fuse up front and then compressor can't run, bleeds out the rest of the pressure and then the truck just sits low and yeah, so those, those, are, the, those are the places I would check.